feel hygienetic than amino, immunoglobulins. So the organization of the Kappa and Lambda light genes in the germline and the, in the undifferentiated cells can show Lambda light genes as well as Kappa light genes. The Lambda gene families are comprised of four C region genes, one for each subtype of Lambda chain and approximately 30 V region genes. Each of the V region genes is composed of two exons, one that codes for a leader region and the other that codes for most of the variable region. Upstream of each of the C genes there is an additional exon called the J exon, which is joining the L, V and J, and C exons are separated by introns, which are intervening non-coding sequences. The Kappa light chains family contains only one C region gene, which says there is only one type of Kappa light chain. There are many V region genes, approximately 250 of each, which has a leader exon and a V exon. In the gene family, there are several J exons located between V and C genes, and all of the exons are separated by introns. As a cell commits to become a B cell, making a light chain, there's a rearrangement of the genes at its DNA level such that one of the V genes is brought next to one of the J regions. This occurs by a recombination event which removes the intron between the V and G regions. The selection of which V gene is used is not totally random, there is some preference for the use of V genes nearest to the J regions. However, with time, all V genes can be used so that all combinations of V genes and J regions can be generated. A consequence of this DNA rearrangement is that the gene becomes transcriptionally active between, because a promoter, which is associated with V gene, is brought close to the enhancer, which is located in the intron between the J and C regions. As transcription initiates from the promoter, a pre mRNA is made, which contains sequences from the L, V, J, and C regions, as well as sequences for the introns between the L and V and J and C. This pre mRNA is processed or spliced in the nucleus and the remaining introns are removed. The resulting mRNA has the L, V, J, and C exons present. The mRNA is translated in the cytoplasm and the leader is removed as a protein is transported into the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. The light chain is assembled for heavy chain in the endoplasmic reticulum and the immunoglobulin is secreted via the normal route of secretory proteins. The V region of the mature light chain is coded for by the sequences of the V gene and J region and C region by sequences of the C gene. In the heavy chain gene family, there are many C genes, one for each class and subclass of immunoglobulin. Each of the C genes is actually composed of several exons one for each domain and another for the hinge region. In the heavy chain gene family, there are many V region genes, each composed of a leader and a V exon. In addition to several J exons, the heavy chain gene family also contains several additional exons called the diversity exons. Cell commits to becoming a B cell, making a heavy chain, there are rearrangements at the DNA level. First, one of the D regions is brought next, one of the J regions, and one of the V regions is brought next to the rearranged D region. This occurs by two recombination events, which remove the introns between the V, D, G regions. As of the light chain, the selection of the heavy chain V gene is not totally random, but eventually all of the V genes can be used. The pre mRNA is processed in the nucleus, and the remaining introns, including those between the exons and the C genes, are removed. The pre mRNA can then be processed in two ways one to bring the VDG next to the C gene, and another to bring the VDG next to the C gene. The resulting mRNAs have the LVDG <laughs> gene. Exons continue this and will code for the MU and a delta chain, respectively. The mRNAs are translated in the cytoplasm and the leader is removed as the protein is transported into the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. The heavy chain is assembled with a light chain in the light endoplasmic reticulum and the immunoglobulin is secreted via the normal route of secretory proteins. The V region of the mature heavy chain is located for the sequences in the V region, D region and J region by sequences in the C region. D exons are unique sequences of theta recombination signal sequence that functions recombination. Each RNS each RSS consists of a conserved normal and conserved heptamer that are separated by either 12 or 23 base pairs. The 12 base pairs and 23 base bases correspond to one or two turns of DNA helix. Recombination only occurs between a one turn and a two turn signal. In the case of heavy chains, there are one, one turn signals on each side of the D exon and a two turn signal downstream of the V gene and a two turn signal upstream of the J exon. This ensures that correct recombination events will occur. The recombination event is catalyzed by two proteins, RAG1 and RAG2. Mutation in the genes for these proteins results in severe combined immunodeficiency disease, in which both T and B cells are deficient, since these proteins and the RSS involved in generating both the T and the cell receptors for the antigen. An individual B cell only produces one type of light chain and one class of heavy chain. The only exception being a mature B cell can produce both micro and delta heavy chains but the antibody specificity is the same since the vdg region is found on the micro and delta chain since any b cell has both maternal and paternal chromosomes which code for the immunoglobulin genes there must be some oddly way in which the cell expresses the immunoglobulin genes as to ensure that only one type of light chain and one class of heavy chain is produced 
a heavy chain cell first attempts to rearrange one of its heavy chain genes in some cells the maternal chromosome is selected and others the paternal chromosome is selected if the rearrangement is successful so that a heavy chain is made and no further rearrangements occur in the heavy chain genes if on the other hand the first attempt to rearrange the heavy chain genes is unsuccessful then the cell attempts to rearrange the heavy chain genes on its other chromosome if the cell is unsuccessful in rearranging the heavy chain genes the second time it is destined to be eliminated with regards to the kappa light chain, when a cell successfully rearranges a heavy chain gene, it then begins to rearrange one of the kappa light chain genes. This is a random event which is whether the maternal or paternal kappa light chain genes are selected. If the rearrangement is unsuccessful, it does not produce a functional kappa light chain. Then it attempts to rearrange the kappa genes on the other chromosome. If a cell successfully rearranges a kappa light chain gene, then it will be a, a B cell that makes an immunoglobulin with a kappa light chain. With regards to a lambda light chain, if a cell is unsuccessful in rearranging both of its kappa light changes, it then attempts to make a lambda light chain. This is a random event where the maternal and paternal lambda light chain genes are selected. If the rearrangement is unsuccessful, it does not produce a functional lambda light chain, and it attempts to rearrange the lambda gene on the other chromosome. If a cell successfully rearranges the lambda light chain gene, it will be a B cell that makes an immunoglobulin for lambda light chain.